Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, in today's video, we're going to introduce you to the newest workhorse that we've added to the stable. Stick around. Okay guys, if you've watched some of our previous videos, you know that we had a side-by-side -side here on the woodlot, but uh, we decided to upgrade our side-by-side -side to one of these new Kubota X1100C diesel machines. Let me tell you why we made that decision. Okay guys, so if you've been watching our channel, you know that uh, we bought this property back in 1996. There's a significant amount of ground here. Uh, the wood is all coming back strong now. It's getting bigger every year. And it's always been our dream to grow this wood lot into a piece of property that we could work long into our retirement. And we're getting closer to that. We're about uh, 10 years away from retirement, if everything goes well. And uh, we're trying to buy the equipment that we think we're gonna need now to keep this microforestry business going well into the future. So if you've watched the previous videos, you know that we had the Cranman hydraulic timber trailer behind a Honda ATV, and that worked well. Um, that allowed us to get into the woods in the wintertime really for the first time in 20 years since we've had this property. Um, then in the spring, we upgraded the Honda ATV to the Kubota B2601 tractor in front of the Cranman timber trailer. Um, that just gave us a little more weight on the front end and a little more power and uh, the ability to bring full trailer loads of wood out without worrying about hurting equipment. And uh, this year we've decided that this Kubota RTV is going to be the next addition uh, to our line of equipment that we're going to use here. So let's talk about some of the reasons why we decided to upgrade and go with the Kubota RTV. Okay guys, so I think it's hard to get one side by side that'll do everything that you want it to do. Um, we had the Honda uh, side by side here for four years. Uh, Honda is a very reliable product, love that machine to death. Um, it was more of a trail machine and it could be used as a workhorse on the woodlot. But uh, this Kubota side by side, this is a true workhorse. It's all metal design, it's got a huge back body on it. Uh, this is a hydraulic dump right from your seat, so if you wanted to haul something on here and dump it off with multiple loads, there's no hand assist or anything like that. You just sit in there and pull a lever like a dump truck and dump your load and continue on. It's got a fully enclosed factory cab on it. It's got a heater, it's got an air conditioner, and it's diesel powered. This thing is gonna be able to tow anything and do anything that we want it to do here on the wood lot. So we're still getting to know this machine. It's brand new, um, has about 10 kilometers on it. This isn't gonna be one of those videos where I tell you about all of the specifications of the machine because I don't know. Um, you know, there's lots of videos on YouTube that talk about the specs and I would encourage you to check those out if you're looking for one of these machines. Um, but we wanted to tell you guys why we made the decision to upgrade to this unit. So one of the big sellers on this side-by-side uh, -side guys is this factory heated cab. Uh, like it or lump it, I'm getting older and uh, I start to feel the cold when I come to the woods and I want to be comfortable. Now, that's a luxury, I know, but uh, it's something that I was, I was willing to pay a little more for to ensure that I got it this time around. Um, we work somewhere between one and two kilometers back in the woods. That's where some of our best wood is right now on the lot. And uh, it takes a little while to get back in here. I want to be comfortable when I'm coming back in to go to work. And uh, once I get the saw started up and get heated up, I don't want to freeze on the way back out to the house. So this heated cab is going to be a great addition and improvement uh, to make things a little more comfortable for me.
Okay guys, so we will do a quick walk around on this just so that you can see kind of all of the different features that they have on it. We've ordered a lot of accessories, but uh, because of the pandemic, everything's back ordered, so that will come. But uh, it's kind of like a little truck. The hood uh, will raise up and give you access to all of the, uh, the common features under here, like your windshield washer fluid and uh, your radiator screens for cleaning and stuff like that. It has a full steel body pan underneath of it, so there's no risk of damaging this in the woods. Um, you know, we're, we're pretty good on our equipment here and try and cut trails out for everything anyway. But uh, if you did happen to go across a stump, you're not going to hurt anything underneath this machine. We put a 3,500 pound winch on the front of it, just in case we ever need it with the push guard. The doors are pretty cool. They're a very solid door. They're a metal door and uh, they've got like a little hydraulic assist on them so they open easy and they stay open. Uh, the windows will roll up and down. It's kind of like a mini half ton. Um, there's a lot of creature features in there like uh, air conditioning for the summertime, heat for the winter, there's a radio. Uh, and of course, what I really like about this, and I'm just going to cycle it gently because I've got some stuff on the back, but I really like this hydraulic dump bag. So I was being pretty gentle with the with the controller there, and you can see how fast it was. It'll go faster than that if you pull the lever the whole way. Um, so I think that's going to be a, a really useful feature too for certain jobs that we have here on the woodlot. Anyway, like I say, we've got about 10 kilometers on it and maybe a couple of hours. If you're looking for speed, this isn't going to be the machine for you. I think these machines top out at about 20 miles per hour, but uh, for our purposes here, we just cruise through the trails here, maybe five to 10 miles per hour anyway, and get back into where we're working for the day. So it's gonna suit our needs perfectly. So we've still got one problem here guys and as you can see these things aren't going to go very well in fresh snow and no side by side will uh, but we're going to fix that in about a month. We've got a set of uh, tracks on order for this machine and that's going to allow us to go back through some of the other woods roads that we wouldn't maintain in the winter time and maybe pick up some deadfalls or uh, pick up some hardwood trees off the sides of the trail to keep them opened up. So it's just going to allow us to get back in the woods and do a little bit more in the winter time uh, when for the last 20 years, we've been sitting idle. So one thing that we really like about this as we're driving it is that uh, in this totally enclosed cab, we've got all this glass around us. The windshield is huge. The side windows are really nice. And we've got this huge back window as well. So visibility is awesome. And uh, that's really nice just for driving through the trails and looking things over, picking out your next tree to cut. Here, even when it's minus 30 and it warms up to minus 10 degrees Celsius through the day, if you've got something warm to sit in and you're going through your trails, it makes it quite enjoyable to come out and clean up brush and stuff like that that's been rubbing on the calves. Hey guys, so let us know down in the comments what you think about the Kubota diesel RTVs. Um, I'm pretty taken with the machine and the more I operate it, the more I like it. 
uh, I think it's going to be a good addition to our uh, fleet of equipment here on the woodlot. Anyway guys, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one guys.